minus 35 degrees this morning. Nothing is starting. Well, now things are starting. I must be getting old because I'm yelling at my kids as I go to school to put on a jacket, put on mitts, and bring a toque as I leave the house for the bus. Just absolutely ridiculous as they put on their jacket and their toques and their mitts walking down the lane to the bus. Guess what? It's cold outside. in here. So that's where the starter lives. So I gotta climb into here, reinstall the starter, to repair some wires, all the while being blowing on BTUs of warmth. So I have heat on the other side of the engine. This should help go. Holy moly, it's cold. Went to a meeting with Vito Pharma yesterday with a bunch of other beekeepers there. I went more so to press a point than to actually get anything really accomplished. What a romantic morning this morning. More frost on the trees. Light dusting of snow across the countryside. Almost makes you want to appreciate winter. The other day it was like, what the f is this all about? We spent all day just trying to get the day. And then we spent most of the next day just catching up from that day. It's a good little warning shot. Like a little bitch slap in winter is about to hit us. But I'll take these days as it comes. Puts me in a little bit of a different mood than I was yesterday. Went to Vita Pharma. I think I'm gonna edit out what I originally uh, mentioned about that. It's in a different frame of mind, right? It's like talking, which lens are you looking through today? I'm a big believer and we go to meetings that you make the meeting of what you want to get out of it. You're going to go there for a fight. You're going to go there for conflict. You're going to go there for a certain purpose of just expression, frustration. That's all you're going to get out of the meeting. And I hope that's not what I brought to that meeting. My intention was to go there and look for some direction forward. It's no secret that Apivar might be seeing some resistance. And the frustrating part is, there's not a lot beekeepers can do to fall back onto. Our options are limited. And I guess my frustration is or was, it's almost forcing a lot of producers to go off label on how we use these products. And what I wanted to convey to them was their product doesn't necessarily, it isn't necessarily not useful anymore. It's just producers seem to be using their product in a different way to remain its efficacy. And 
with that, I hope I was conveying that they should be looking to adapt or evolve the use of their product to be able to capture some of that prolonged efficacy. And I understand and they didn't they, they had a hard time replying to those comments because they can't. It's not on label. They can't stand in front of us and talk about how to use that product off label, right? But this maybe presents an opportunity for them to do a little bit of research in, well, it's easy for me to say, but to use their product in a different way, you know, get the data, get the science, and do what has to be done so they can provide us with the guidance on using these products to remain effective, whether that be dose or product placement or using other products at the same time within that treatment just to help, you know, help that efficacy. Because what beekeepers need most at this time is guidance. And without guidance, beekeepers just take the matter into their own hands. And in a lot of ways, that's what we do as beekeepers. We figure out the situation ourselves because no one else is giving us the answers. But this is the opportunity maybe where these companies or where we can involve our tech transfer programs, uh, maybe translate some of this university knowledge down to the beekeeper level to help provide some of that guidance that we are needing, that we are screaming for to help us manage our issues. So that's basically what I wanted to convey to them <clears throat> is just what's the hold up? Why aren't we focusing on don't throw the baby out to the bathwater. You know, this is what we have. And until we have something else to replace it, let's get creative and use this product to be able to help us keep our bees going with the use of other products until something else comes along and helps us out. It's another band-aid bridge, whatever. That's what we need as beekeepers right now. That just seems to be what it is. This, this is what agriculture is, just one year to the next one challenge to the next just get to that next year next year next year and it doesn't really you know you talk about sustainability and all this crap well this is what farming is just managing the issues at hand the best we can until new technologies come along to solve them for us so that is maybe a little bit of a different tone than my original reflection video that I provided. I was afraid when we went to the meeting I'd just be a big bitch fest and a lot of complaining beekeepers and I didn't find that. I found it very productive. The beekeepers were there to understand what is going on and it was a very interesting conversation and I'm not going to get into that because as beekeepers we need to be there for the conversation to be able to hear uh, what's going on if you don't show up you miss the conversation so at any rate that's another step forward so i had insurance show up today assessed my stock I'm not sure what to think of it he did say he typically when he comes to the shed he sees rows of well it's a heat signature gun is what they use and he said yeah he was seeing that Except seeing blank spots. You would see hives well stocked and then an empty spot, right? Hives well stocked and then, well, the, the empty spots he was saying were just, you know, you can't see them, but just a little patch of warmth up inside. He 
he's asking about it. What am I supposed to say?